Hello, welcome. Yes, it's the Right, today it's the start of the vegetarian season. Oh, my favorite. Now, vegetables. Yes. Don't you get wonderful vegetables oh, in Greece? Oh, you do. Through, through the summer, especially. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you think the all the markets with yes. the piles of aubergines yes, and tomatoes so, yeah. and peppers. And Unbelievable. Did you come across any sort of unusual vegetables? Unusual? You well, it was there. nice to see cochettes with the flowers on, ah, you know, yeah, which yeah. you don't see here. And obviously, no. they use the flowers as well in Greece. They stuff them, you know. That's right. Lovely. Stuff that yeah. Also, I came across some beautiful peppers. Uh -huh. uh, uh, they look like chilies. They're light in color oh, and right. very fine. They're not thick they like our peppers. No, they're, they're sweet peppers. Oh. And they're delicious. Again, they stuff them with uh, mincemeat or vegetables or yeah. rice. Yeah. Yeah. You know, absolutely. Or oh, with feta. I have them stuffed with feta, which Excuse is excellent. Me? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And the tomatoes are so nice in yeah. Greece. They taste I like know. tomatoes used like, to yes, taste I in know. the olden days. They are rather you know. watery ones that yeah. we have everywhere. Oh, yeah. the beautiful. Anyway, today you're going to be making a moussaka, sort of, but yeah. just vegetarian. Vegetarian moussaka. We are not going to use any meat today, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but we're going to use lots of mushrooms for Terrific. the filling. Great, great. Yes. And the, the film you made out in, in Corfu was yes. with some nuns. Yes, Ayir Baraskevi, which is St. Friday's. Oh. Uh, only four nuns lived up there. Right. Um, and they were really nice and they cooked the most wonderful meal I had. Well, let's take a look. with the sister and she's going to make briam, which is a vegetarian bake. And actually, yes. So now she's uh, slicing the crochet, which has to go on the bottom of the dish first. They make this special in the summer and they eat it once a week. Yes. And they eat this when they're uh, fasting, when they're not allowed to eat any meat. Daxi, teliosame me to kolokithaki. Tora ti thakanume. Got to pull some potatoes now. The potatoes are cut in, in half and then in two slices. I told her if I'm not doing it right, she can suck me. Yeah. Ah, so we're putting this beautiful. Sweet, sweet green peppers which grow here in Greece. So she's putting red and green because you are looking at color as, as well here. That's it. That's the the melanzana. What is melanzana? Yeah. So we've got to put two orbits as well to this uh, oven dish. You better watch how you, she does it. Yes, so we have to cut this a little bit larger. Oh, she just told me if I'm cutting them too big. This dish will make it's good enough for eight portions. Now we're going to put some garlic. Ah, we have to cut it in, in four and then cut it up again in small pieces. They all tend to do this in Greece. They don't use one of those garlic squashes oh. or grapes. Oh, eh? oh, it's oh, best oh, when they're in little pieces. Why? Why not? 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 I told her I believe she, she, she's a very good cook, but she said no, no, no. What do we put now? We're going to tomato. So we have to peel the tomatoes. These are fresh tomatoes, but apparently where they don't, when they don't have fresh tomatoes, they use tinned tomatoes. She said it's all right, but obviously 
it tastes better with fresh ingredients. Viste? To fluvi then in the not a nainem? Not a finero. Ah. Just ask her, is it alright to leave the, the peel of the tomato? I should say no, because it's quite tough. They will do. Okay. Okay. Taxi must be? Then I come and I leave the tomato. We run out of tomatoes. Ah. After? And we need a big bunch of parsley. And taxi. Pale et si tato kopsume? Mikrolik. Ah, all right. Again, we don't use a chopping board here. We use our hands. My gosh, she's fast. Can't keep up with her. Naxi, tora ti vazume? Tha valume ta i poli valik. All right. Tolavi. Now all the vegetables are in. She's going to put the rest of the ingredients, the olive oil, she said. Lavi ena put ena filizan tu sajo. Yes. So we put about a cup of olive oil. Virgin olive oil in here. That's about the cup. Yeah, yeah. It needs a lot of uh, of olive oil. Tiene origani, origano, from the mountains, probably grown from around here. Polio oreo. Ne, polio oreo is beautiful, she said. Ne. 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 Βάζουμε δύο κουταλάκια του γλυκού. We put about two teaspoons of salt. Ε, πιπέρι δεν βάζουμε? Ναι, και πιπέρι. Ξεχάσαμε το πιπέρι. We forgot the pepper, but we're going to get it. Yes. Γερόντισα. Θα σε ευχαριστούμε. Ευχαριστούμε. Εντάξει, και μισό κουταλάκι. Μισό κουταλάκι του γλυκού. Είναι περίτω από μισό. Α, εντάξει. Μισό κουταλάκι του γλυκού. Okay. So that's black ground pepper. To finish the meal, we put a cup of water. Now she's going to mix it with her hands. It's the best way. Not with spoons, that's how she does it. So all the, all the salt and the pepper and the rigani, yeah, they're all mixed together. Cooks it on 250 degrees for, for about one and a half hours. Το γυρίζουμε, που μαγειρεύεται, ναι. ναι. Μετά από μία ώρα το γυρίζουμε. After an hour it's been baking, she makes it. Uh, I don't think she uses her hands, now, she uses food. Κουτάλι χρησιμοποιάτε μετά. Κουτάλι. Uh, όχι το χέρι. Ωραία. She said, of course not, I'll get burned. Το σταυρώνουμε, για να γίνει πιο νόστιμο. Ωραία. <laughs> Every time she finish anything, she has to cross it, and she said the secret is, it always tastes better. So we're going to see if it is true. Are we not Yes. Yes. Well, the priyami is finished. It looks beautiful and it smells delicious. Sadly, the sisters cannot join me because it's the wrong time of the day for them to eat. But I can't wait to eat some. Por una coligo. Naxi. Sase faristo. Kalisa sorex. Kalisa sorex. Sase faristo. They just told me. Bon appetit. Mm. It's beautiful. Polly or else, I say, Those poor nuns, they look uh, so hungry. I know, <laughs> but unfortunately, it was the wrong time of the day for them. They had the Sperinos. Which, to which do, corresponds which is, to evening mass vespers. That's right. Right. Yes. Right. So uh, they cannot eat before that. Oh. After mass, they're allowed to eat. But you seem to be enjoying yourself. Oh, I loved it. Great. I ate extra. extra. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell us about this meatless oh. moussaka. All right. Well, Everybody knows what moussaka is, yep. but of course you expect in moussaka to find meat, mm. mince meat. Mm. Now we substitute the mince to mushrooms, so we're going to oh, have right. a lovely filling with mushrooms, yep. onions, 
and garlic. But of course, we've still got the other ingredients that mm. you find in moussaka. We've got and the courgette. I mean, ah, you, you won't find that, find, but you it? would in villages. Oh right. They do uh -huh. what they use certainly vegetables they have really in villages. Yeah, but yeah. in uh, so the posh restaurant, you only get the aubergines. Just, you just know. the aubergines. Right. So today we're going to use the aubergines. Good. Because moussaka is not a moussaka without aubergines. Yeah. We're also going to use the potatoes, mm -hmm. and we're going to use the courgette. Can I help? Oh, I want you to help, oh, Charles. Good. I'd like you to fry all this for me while I wow. get on with my mixture, with well, my filling. Fine. Is that all right? Have you yes. done this before, Charles? Um, yes, yeah? a bit. All right. At home, good. you know, in a sort of amateur capacity. <laughs> good. Okay, here we go. All right. There is it's your on. part. Marvelous. Yes. Olive oil. I'm going to put you some olive oil, Charles. Thank you. Useful. I do trust None you. None of this dry just, frying. Now, no. I remember the other day you were saying that when you're making moussaka, you can actually make it less fatty by grilling. brushing the um, brushing the aubergines with oil olive and oil. then grilling, grilling rather them. than frying. And you know what my mum does, Charles? What does she do? She doesn't even do that. She puts everything raw. Really? No yeah. frying or grilling no at all? No frying, but the only thing, it takes longer in the oven. So if... If your topping is starts to go brown, right. you uh, you cover it with some foil. So if you and want to be really delicious. healthy, yes, you yes. just don't now, do any Charles, frying Charles, you didn't let that get hot. Didn't I? Oh, no. Gosh. Well, I let's can tell you are not in the kitchen <laughs> too often, but never mind. Okay, right. All right. Well, there we are. I'm going to use a wok for this. And first of all, you always have to have your wok warmed, don't right. you, before you Good. add oil. Warm yeah. wok. Yes, warm wok. <laughs> Now, we need about four tablespoons of olive oil in there. I never count. No. Right? Get that hot. Not like Charles. <laughs> I think you're making up for the fact that I've got too <laughs> oh, much Charles. oil Charles. Yes. This is these having an oil bath. Never mind. Okay. I oil, my oil is getting hot. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to add... Now, we've got three onions, medium onions, sliced thinly. All right? You don't chop them. You slice them. Put those in there. Right. Mix them all in to coat with olive oil. And actually, I don't think my wok is very hot yet. Well, yeah. Uh, at least it's sizzling. Yours was. Look, bang, bang, no, great, great guns now. <laughs> I forgive you this time, Thank you. Charles. Right. I'm also going to add two cloves of garlic, finally chopped in there. Oh, there's a little bit more garlic there. Right, how are you doing, Charles? Brilliant, brilliant, yeah, terrific. Good. Don't forget, you've got all this to fry. I know, in. I know, it's going to yeah. take some time. <laughs> I think we may have to do some work during the break. <laughs> We'll open a bottle of wine. Ooh, that's a good you idea. should have brought some wine now, Look, Charles. Get on with your recipe. <laughs> okay. In here, I've got a pound of mushrooms. Now, these are flat mushrooms, right. not, not the potten yep. mushrooms. And you cut them quite thick, really. Yep. Slice them quite thick. Right. Right. I think we're going to have to go on working. <laughs> so, right. we're going to take a break now. All right. Join us in a couple of minutes for the rest of Lula's yes. main course, Meatless Moussaka, Moussaka. And, of course, the wines to go with it.